What's going on YouTube? I'm coming at you with the follow-up video. Uh, following my first video I made talking about how I was going to change out my uh, hard drive on my PlayStation 4 to see if it helps load times in Borderlands 3 and to what degree. We're making a very similar video, so if you can click like, click subscribe. I really appreciate that. Um, just to kind of follow up to see if our times are much better for farming. Uh, I'm going to be going right through the same maps in the same time domain. Um, the funny thing is I actually uh, had to figure out when I was installing. I had trouble getting into my uh, my add-ons after you reinstall your hard drive. It's kind of complicated. So if you decide you want to do the same fix and you run into trouble, you can let me know down in the comments below. And I'm happy to help you out. So let's start this thing up. I'm going to load it right like I did the other one. And we're going to see an exact identical video of what I did and see if the load times are better. So here we go. Uh, the process to change out the SSD was not hard. Obviously, if you know anything about PlayStation, they definitely made that very simple for us to do for ourselves. Um, so definitely was happy with that procedure. Um, now it's just a matter of, does it work? Okay, in here, look like I did before. I'm not even gonna rush you, I'm gonna take my time, I'm right here. We're going to go in the same location, same location, fast travel. The first one went definitely a lot faster. I think that first video was close to six minutes. So if we go anywhere uh, in a very different standpoint than six minutes, definitely worth the money invested. But I think this game is very demanding as far as what it loads in and what it loads out. So yeah. So far, it looks good. It looks good so far. Let's go up. Let's go on. Went out to the handsome jackpot download. VIP tower. Okay. Milk it a little bit. Well, wow, I think it's going to cut this drastically. Drastically. Oh yeah, I, I can already tell this is going to be a big change, guys. So you definitely, if you are a fan of uh, farming in Borderlands and you want to speed up that process and you can invest in an SSD drive. Oh yeah, I'm getting like, it low. I don't even get a delay getting to the menu. Uh, with the Pandora next. Uh, Central's Bluff. If you can get an SSD hard drive put into your PlayStation, uh, definitely you want to do that. You want to invest in that if you can. If you have a birthday coming up, Christmas, uh, tell your family this is what you want. Or if obviously you have the money, invest in yourself. Um, this Sony Evo is what I went with. I'm sorry, Samsung Evo. Sony Evo. Samsung Evo. Um, and like I said, if you do do this and you run into any trouble as far as getting like your add-ons and downloads in, let me know. Uh, so far, so good. And one more load in, and that would be it, guys. Let's see if we go into the low tan level. So, yeah, look at that. It's gonna cut almost a whole. If this goes sub four, it's gonna cut almost a whole two minutes or close to two minutes. Of load time guys that's incredible definitely worth the money I spent on those hard on that hard drive I also bought one for my kids PlayStation so I'm gonna definitely change it out as well and there it is guys and mark clock look at that oh my god almost a whole two minutes guys a whole two minutes that's crazy um, but yeah I look forward to testing a little bit more as far as other games uh, like Final Fantasy my Dragon Ball Z that I've done videos on. I have to get everything installed. That's the patient part. But yeah, if you guys click like, click subscribe. I might come up with some more content uh, showing you guys just how much the SSD and everything. But yeah, guys, that's the video. Thank you for watching.